Hey guys, the objective of this video is to find the permanent imposed actions on the slab in KPA. So the permanent action G. The permanent action um, in the slab is going to be the self weight in the slab plus the superimposed dead load. Okay? So the self weight of the slab first is going to be the density times the gravity times its height divided by, by 1000 to get an answer in KPA. All right? The density of the concrete is 2500, the gravity was 9.8. The depth of the concrete or the height of the concrete is 0.15 meters, so we need to be consistent with units. We're working in meters, um, meters in kilograms and seconds squared. And then we're going to divide through by 1,000 to give us an answer in um, KPA. So 2,500 by 9.8 by 0.15 gives us an answer in pascals, and then we divide through by 1,000 to give us an answer in kilopascals. So 3.675 kPa is the self-weight of the slab. The superimposed dead load was given to us in the problem as 1.5 kPa. All right? So we just need to add those two things together. So 3.675 plus 1.5 gives us 5.175 kPa. All right? So just putting that in the box, the permanent action on the slab is 5.175 kPa. We can then work out the imposed action. So we go to uh, table 3.1, AS1170.1, so that's on page number 9, and we look for, this is just a general office, okay, so we look for that, and we have table 3.1 is reference value for imposed actions, floor actions, so general office, we did this in the previous example, it was 3 kPa, alright, so uniformly distributed actions is 3 kPa. And that is the answer. Okay, so the imposed action on the slab is 3 kPa, permanent action 5.175 kPa. Pretty simple stuff. We'll see you in the next video.